Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. The iron law of wokeism states that you must accuse your opponents, your enemies, of doing the very same thing that you are guilty of. It's also called Bolshevism. It's called being a communist. You use and manipulate people in order to get power. And that is exactly what the woke do everywhere that they go. And that includes beer companies. Yesterday, Miller Lite was destroyed for releasing this cringe ad featuring non-comedian Lana Glazer. Can you tell me what funny joke has Lana Glazer ever told? Not sure. This is probably the funniest Pay homage though. to the founding mothers of beer. They put us in bikinis. So it was really, really evil for them to use bikinis or boobs or sex in order to sell an agenda. Got it? You got to do away with it, she says. You got to shred this stuff. Inconvenient, however, for Lana Glazer are these videos that weren't really hard to find on the internet of her effectively naked trying to sell us something. See if you can find out what it is. Watch. Voting for? Are you voting early? Are you voting absentee? Are you voting in person? Like, make a voting plan today. Ugh. Ooh, make a voting plan. Oh, grotesque. Oh, it's gross. Okay, so wait a second. Is that just a one-off? Is that AI generated? Where where, do, where does this come from? Because I read headlines like this: Miller Lite apologizes for using women in bikinis to sell product. So clearly using women's bodies uh, or uh, objectively their sex appeal to sell products is wrong, right? This is wrong, right? Well, check this out. I Google searched Lana Glazer bikini, God RIP my Google search results here, and there is no shortage of images of her. Uh, I, what it, she, She's like going down on a tree here in a bikini. Uh, feeling up another woman in a bikini, uh, uh, hugging and embracing other women in bikinis, wearing uh, quite scantily clad images here, or, or just straight up wearing nothing. Here's photos of her wearing literally nothing. Uh, on her own Instagram account, all it takes is like two or three scrolls to find, well, here's the first image here. Oh, 100,000 likes of her without a shirt on. Got it. Okay, now like I'm looking for this, thank you very much, happily married here, but since we're talking about how evil it is for women to be objectified sexually, why exactly is Lana Glazer posting these photos of her in a string bikini wearing virtually nothing, uh, making out with a tree? Man, I love trees, she says. Oh, okay, could you have done that in a sweater? Here's video of Lana Glazer in a bikini swimming around and bopping and prancing around a pool, doing what effectively the women inside of the Miller Lite ads were doing. Is it any different? Answer me that. Is it any different? Lana Glazer gets paid to also do these cringe-worthy ads. Check it out. Here she is twerking. Here you go. Twerking. Shaking her ass. Where did I discover these? Did I did I have to hack her account? Um, no. This is something that she posted. Vote in November and eat my ass. That's her caption. This is from her Instagram account. This is just, this is just basic. This is just, just going to her account and searching. This wasn't hard. Eat ass and protect democracy. Oh, okay, so if it's in favor of the Democrat Party, so if it if it leads to the election of Democrats, it's worth taking off all my clothes and eating my ass, according to Lana Glazer. Miss, miss, how dare you objectify women in beer? There would be no wi no beer without women. Interesting. Why is she wearing clothes in this ad? Because, you know, I can go over to Lana Glazer's Instagram here and find lots of footage of her uh, with literally no clothes on. Here you go. Here she is with no shirt on, wearing a teeny pair of shorts. Um, link in bio to make a voting plan. Got it? Voting plan. See this? 
This is not me objectifying women. I'm just topless with voting plan written across my chest. You see, I'm the one who's for women empowerment. Got it? Got it? That's why I don't have a shirt on. Here's why I'm in images here. The Supreme Court can kiss my ass and I'm going down on that shirt. Got it? Guys, this is like it's just so unbelievably fraudulent. It's so embarrassing. It's so grotesque. Oh, how people, how oh, people, how how do people uh, idealize these these individuals? They're they're so gross. But here we are. This is the world that we live in. This video in particular doesn't include an enormous amount of nudity. It does include Lana Glazer uh, showing her behind with a tramp stamp on it saying, do I want to eat its ass? Talking about the Democratic Party. Do I want to eat the ass of the Democratic Party? Yes, she says here in the comment section. Yeah, I'd eat the Democratic Party's ass. But let me explain. Vote in November. Look at this. Look, look at this advertisement. So again, to effectively state it's wrong if a woman is using her body to sell a product, but also let me use my body in the most grotesque possible manner to sell a product. That product just happens to be the Democratic Party and not light beer that tastes like horse piss that has been strained through a copper funnel filled with twigs. Again, more, okay, here's more nudity on her page. Here's more sexually explicit content. Here's more footage of her in a bikini or a small swimsuit flopping about a pool. These people, they're, they're such unbelievable frauds. It's okay when we do it, the woke. There you go. It's okay when I take off my shirt to sell product. But when Miller Lite does it, oh, it's wrong. Oh, yuck. Oh, how could we? This, by the way, we are proud to say, it now has 27,000 dislikes to 1,000 likes. Miller Lite is in panic mode. The people who are behind this ad, uh, Elizabeth Hitch is one of the executives behind the ad. She was listed inside of the PR Newswire story about it. One of the people behind the ad, she has deleted her LinkedIn page. Uh, uh, Sophia Colucci, who is also the director of marketing, uh, has deleted her LinkedIn page. Real shame. Real, real strong, strong, strong women here. Strong, really, really, definitely committed to a cause. Definitely com committed to a cause. It is the iron law of wokeism that you are not capable of living up to the standards that you hold other people to. What was this ad all about for Miller Lite? This ad was about humiliating, embarrassing, and shaming you, the paying customer, for an ad that they made with women in bikinis. They blur out the faces of these women. Where Lana Glazer, the hideous spokesperson for this ad, is doing the exact same thing. Using her body, using her sexuality to sell a product. Now you can argue whether those kind of ads are good or not for you. You can argue whether they work for you or whether you'd prefer them not to uh, be in swimsuits or any, any of this. You could argue whether the entire class of ads need to be done away with. Pfft, have fun. Do it in the comment section. But you cannot be somebody who criticizes Miller Lite and Miller Lite's customers for liking those ads while you do the exact same thing. You're just selling a different product. Democrat Party and Marxism. It is, you are a grotesque virtue signaler. You are an embarrassment. Well, I've never really heard of Lana Glazer, but boy, oh boy, now is it time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to call these people out. We'll keep doing it on this channel. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe.